Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can sell digital products in bulk by using My Designs. So let's jump right in. So we're on the dashboard of the My Designs website. What we want to do is navigate to the Listings tab located in this left menu right under Dashboard. And now that we're here, we need to create a collection so that we can upload our designs that we want to sell as digital products. So we can do that by clicking this home button and then we'll make sure we're nested under home. And then we'll go ahead and click add folder. And we're just going to name this digital product demo. And then we'll click add folder. And now that that's added, you can see it on the left side menu here, or you could see it there on the generic menu. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click open folder and now we need to upload some designs and we can do that by clicking this upload button in the top right corner here. Now you can upload by dragging and dropping or you can click to open up to pull up on your local computer. So I'm going to drag and drop 10 camping designs I have here and then I'll go ahead and click upload all. That will take just a second and then we'll resume the video. Now the next step that we need to take is to fill out our data for our digital products that we're trying to sell. So there's a couple different ways you can do this and I'm going to show you both. Um, first, we can use our Fraser AI tool which will generate titles and tags for you. We're working on being able to generate descriptions as well, but this is trained on best-selling Etsy data. So what you need in order to use Fraser AI is a keyword. So essentially, since all of these designs are camping related, we can just use camping as our keyword. So I'm going to go to all actions here, click edit in bulk. We're going to select the primary keyword field and we're going to click overwrite as in, I believe I already had something there, but um, we just want to do camping. So we can click, if we go over to keywords here, you'll see under the primary keyword field, which is what we selected, it's given you a preview of what it's going to look like. So we're essentially going to put the keyword camping on all 10 of these listings we're working on. So we'll go ahead and click proceed. Now, if I double click the keywords field, you'll see on all 10 of these designs, we have camping in there as our primary keyword. So now we can go to Fraser AI. And what we do here is select the field containing the keywords. So if you remember, we put our camping keyword in the primary keywords field. So we'll select that. Now we're going to select our product type. We're selling this as a digital file. So we'll click digital. Um, this, we want to generate a title and we also want to generate tags. So we'll go ahead and leave both those checked and we're going to save our title to our title field and our tags to our tags field. And then we'll click submit. And you'll see this takes just a second and there we have it. So I always say with Fraser AI, it gets you about 70 to 80% of the way there. You don't want to use a title or tags that were just 100% generated by Fraser AI. You always want to double check, make sure there's no trademarked words, make sure there's no other people's shop words in there. Um, but it does give you some really good keywords and tags that you can use, like I said, about 70 to 80% of. So the next step is to do a, a description and I'm just going to do a generic one. Um, if I was actually selling these and not just showing you how, I would probably put a little more time into my title, tags and descriptions. But you can edit your data in this way. This is the second way rather than using Fraser AI. We built everything at My Designs to be able to handle bulk uh, capabilities. So we want to go to all actions, edit in bulk. This time we're going to go to description. We're going to add to the front and I'm just copy pasting a, just a small generic um, description that I want to use for all of these. So you'll see this says keywords dot primary keyword. This is a variable that is pulling the keywords dot primary keyword field. So this is the data set and this is the field name. This is the field name, the primary keyword. So we can once again see a preview of what this is going to look like and you'll see underlined here is our variable. When we click out of that, you'll also see that it auto populates the camping. That was our variable that we essentially also used uh, with Fraser AI to generate the data that we did. So now we'll click apply to selected listings. And now you'll see on every one of our um, listings, all 10 of them, 
we have a description. Now, th this can be used for more than 10, I believe up to 120 at a time you can work on with bulk edit if you are a Pro Plus member. And now that we have all of our data filled out, the next step is to create some good looking mockups so that these um, listings really stand out on Etsy. So we can create mockups by first of all, making sure that we have all of the designs selected inside of this collection that we want to create these mockups on. In my case, it's going to be all 10 of these designs. So I'm going to click select all, and then we can go to the mockups button, create image mockup, now we have a huge library of mockups. In order to get to the digital mockups, we just click this drop down here and we'll select digital. And now you can see we've got a, a big uh, list of digital uh, mockups we can select from. I'm going to select maybe this first one here. Well, first of all, actually, you can do multiple mockups at the same time if you are a pro or a pro plus user. You can do that by turning it on here. So now you can see we have a blue check mark. That's just showing that we're generating this mockup. So we'll select this one. The input file slot here is the file you're using to create the mockups with. So that is obviously just going to be our main file. The output file type and slot is just going to be an empty file slot. We'll leave it on mockup too. Um, for the colors, I believe the primary color is the first one's the color of the shirt. Uh, the second one is going to be the color of this arrow. And the third one is going to be the color of the black ground where you or background, excuse me, where you see the light blue. So um, this is a white design. So a black color T-shirt works great for the secondary color. We'll just use the same color that it has the arrow as uh, for the third color. We'll use it as black as well. Um, now we'll go ahead and select another mock up, which I think this wood palette one looks good. And it kind of goes a little bit with our camping um, design. Um, you can add keywords here if you'd like. For instance, the camping keyword we created, if we wanted that in our mockup, we could just select that. I'm not going to have any of them. And then the primary color is going to be the color of the background of this, which I think would look cool um, with more of a wood color, so a dark brown. And I've got a hex code here that I'm just going to put in for our dark brown color. So now you'll see there, we've got a dark brown. Uh, to make sure we like this before we actually create these mockups, we can click generate preview here. It will take just a minute for that to be done. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, before we click generate mockups. So that is what the brown color looks like. I think it looks pretty good. So we'll stick with that. And maybe we'll do just one more mockup as an example. Um, and you'll see that this auto populates to an empty file slot every time um, your output file slot will automatically go to an empty one. If you want to overwrite a file that's in a file slot, you have to specifically select that one. Um, and we'll just do the same thing on the color here. And we already know we like the color, so we won't generate another preview. Um, if I was selling these and not just doing a demo, I would probably add a couple more mockups because the more is better. Um, but for this example, I'll just use these three. So once you have all the mockups selected you'd like to generate, we just come and click this generate mockups button in the top right corner. And then we'll click generate mockups. Um, that will take just, you know, 10, 20 seconds to do. Once it's done, I'll show you what they look like. Now that those are done generating, I'll go ahead and show you what they all look like. We can look at these in a bigger view to essentially hide our data by clicking this grid view here. So that shows just our images now. And we can populate every one of our um, listings inside of this collection by double clicking. So if I double click on mockup one, it will populate for all 10 of our designs we're working on. So you can see that's one of the um, mockups. Here's another one of them. You can see these look really good. And then here is our last one. They've all got those wood backgrounds. So I think they really match our designs. Um, and that is how you create mockups and your data. So now that we have these listings all ready to go, we can actually go publish these on our Etsy shop. So in order to publish these, now that we have our data done and our mockups done, all we have to do is go to the top right corner here and click publish listings. So you'll see there's products and digital. We're selling these as a digital file. So we're going to click digital. There's two ways we can do this. We can select files to sell, which if you had multiple, you would just essentially upload them into one of these empty file slots and then you would select them 
as files that you're selling. Um, in this case, we would just be selecting our main file. Um, but I'm gonna go back a step here and we're actually going to click convert files to various file types and sell. Um, if you have a, a base, if your base file, excuse me, is an SVG file, you can actually convert to EPS, PNG, JPEG, PDF, and DXF. Uh, since our base file is a PNG, then all we can convert to is a JPEG, PNG, and PDF. My designs will actually do these conversions for you. So I don't have to do anything um, and my customer will receive a PDF, a PNG, and a JPEG. Um, all we have to do is select the image that we're selling, which is our main file once again. We will do all three of these conversions and then we'll click next step. From here, it's going to want you to choose your category. We're already in the correct one, so we'll click next step. Now this is where we choose our mockups. So we're going to select these. We're going to remove this as that's just our file. And then maybe we'll make this um, third one our primer. You can just click make primary underneath if that's the one you want. Now that we have all three of our mockups selected, we can go to the next step. Uh, before we do that, I wanna point out that you can actually add a watermark to these mockups if you'd prefer. And you would just type that in here. Maybe if it was your shop name, you would type that in and then um, you can click next step. I'm not going to do a watermark, so we'll just click next step. This is where you have to fill out or map your data. Um, it will automatically do it if you know you put it in the correct fields. This is my title field, my description, and my tags. Now you'll see here, we need a price and a quantity field. Uh, we didn't actually set that up. We're working on a more intuitive way to do this, um, but we'll just go back really quick and add that. So we already have a data set here called inventory and pricing. So now we can just go to all actions, edit in bulk. We'll do pricing. We'll click overwrite and we'll say maybe sell these for $3.99 and then we'll click apply to selected listings. Uh, now we'll go back to edit in bulk. This time we're going to do quantity overwrite and we're going to do 999 as that's the max quantity you can have for an Etsy listing. And then we'll click apply to selected listings. So now you'll see under all of these, we have our price and our quantity. So now we'll go back to publish listing, digital, convert to various file types. And we'll just kind of rush through this since we already did it. We'll select our mockups, make this one as our primary. Next step, now you'll see the price and the quantity auto-populated. So it looks like we're good to go, so we'll just click next step. This gives you a final preview of what your actual listing is going to look like. Um, and then we select our shop here, which we're only connected to the My Designs SVG shop, which we use as a demo shop, and then we'll click publish. So now you'll see processing 10 jobs in this collection. Uh, I should be done in less than a minute, and then we'll jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what it looks like there. So we're over on our Etsy shop now. What we need to do is go into our draft folder. I, I wanna stress that everything that you publish through My Designs will always go to a draft folder because you have to pay a 20 cent listing fee. We don't want you to get charged that if you weren't aware of it. So everything that you post or publish from My Designs will go into your draft folder. But as you can see, here are all of our listings that we just created. Um, we can click into these and look or take a a closer look, you'll see we have our mockups here, our title, um, our, our file here. This PDF is what your customer actually receives and you can download that to test it if you want by clicking that button there. Uh, but that does it for this video on how to sell digital products in bulk by using my designs. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel um, for further my designs content.